a welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. However, someone who is significantly more YouTube famous than myself is a young lady called Liv Loves Beauty and I will link her channel down there somewhere. And a while ago, she started a tag called Spill the Tea Mini Tag. And I wrote the questions down because I thought they were really actually interesting questions. And if I can find it, I'll link her original video there as well. Um, but I didn't feel that I'd been doing my channel for long enough to join in with a tag just yet. But... I've now just broken the 300 subscribers level, which I am absolutely stunned by and welcome so much to all of you. I love having you all here. It's fantastic that you want to listen to this mad half Welsh, half Yorkshire bird blether on about makeup. So continuing to blether on about makeup, I'm going to do Liv's Spill the Tea mini tag. So, her first question was, which video were you afraid to post on YouTube and why? Um, obviously my first video terrified me, but I think that's pretty standard for everybody. Uh, probably the two that I worried about most were the Kat Von D um, tutorial that I put up, because I'd ordered from Depop the Chrysalis palette. Unfortunately, the day it arrived, the Kat Von D, I'm not going to vaccinate my children, crap, hit the headlines. And I was like, wow, I've spent money on this. I wanted to do this tutorial. I wanted to show people what Kat Von D shadows are like. But if I don't address the current situation, I'm going to get people asking why. But if I do address the situation, I'm going to get Kat Von D stands coming for me. But I thought, no, do you know what? When I set this channel up, the core values of this channel are that I don't use filters. I don't use smoothing anything. Um, and you will always, always get 100% honesty from me. If I like something, you'll know it. If I don't like something, well, you're going to know that too. Mainly because I'm a crap liar. If I lie, I might as well just have a big neon sign going, She's lying! She's lying! She's lying! Because I just really can't lie. Um, so I addressed my thoughts on her stance on... Uh, deciding not to vaccinate her child and admittedly that was the first sort of 10 minutes of the video which is unusual for me because I'm I'm not a drama channel I'm not a commentary channel I'm a makeup channel uh, but this was a drama that directly affected the makeup that I wanted to do that day um, so I was really worried about putting that video up and yeah I got some abuse in the comments uh, but I also got a lot of people agreeing with me. Um, thankfully, I didn't have to delete or block any commenters because the majority of them maintained civility. Uh, there was one that didn't, but I'll come on to that later because that can be covered in another one of these questions. Um, the other video I was really worried about uploading was a video where... Uh, I tried a palette from a UK indie company and it was terrible. Um, I couldn't get any pigmentation out of it. The mattes were, not only did they lift an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer from my lid, I took that all off. I did. I thought maybe it was maybe it was because my skin isn't used to having an eyelid primer on. So I did what I normally do and just do concealer and powder, and it lifted that back off. The mattes were clumping and refusing to blend. 
Shimmers, even when applied wet, were pretty much non-existent and the shimmer pan sealed over after one use. So I was really, really worried about posting that because, you know, it's a small company, it's an indie brand. Um, bad reviews are going to hurt them. But going back to my, you always get 100% honesty from me, I couldn't not put it up. I couldn't not show people how bad this palette was. Because I would never forgive myself if somebody went out and bought this palette and had exactly the same problems as I did. Um, so yeah, th those were the ones that I was most worried about posting. Uh, question two. As your channel grows, do you find it more difficult to stick to your original opinions? Well, obviously, I'm still in the first year of my channel. I've just hit 300 sub subscribers. So I haven't really grown amazingly from the start. Um, but in terms of my original opinions, so far everything's pretty much the same. Um, You always get honesty from me. If I like a palette, you're going to know it. If I like a foundation, you're going to know it. If I don't, you're going to know that too. And so far, my opinions on products that I liked at the start of my channel. Um, one of my earlier films that I did was my top five high end and my top five drugstore. Or indie um, palettes and all those palettes that I mentioned I still love now so my opinion of those hasn't changed they may have been usurped by other palettes that are now um, a newer favorite or that I reach for slightly more than I did those but they are still good palettes and I do still use them. So no, my, my original opinions are still the same. This is a channel for any age, but particularly those who are over 40 and want to see how makeup's going to work on skin that isn't 22 year old, perfectly firm, no wrinkles, no sagging, no bagging, no nothing. Um, you know, it's... It's important to me that men and women of any age can achieve the makeup looks they want. And if following one of my tutorials helps them do that, well then fantastic. That, that makes me a very happy girly. Uh, question three. <laughs> Someone leaves you a shitty comment that isn't relevant to the video. Do you delete it or respond? This takes me back to the first question where I said I got a comment on... The Kat Von D. Now my channel name is 4F Beauty. Fair, 40 plus, fat, and fabulous. So there's kind of a clue in the name of my channel that I'm not a skinny mini, you know? And I'd given my opinions on Kat Von D or Kat Von Disease as I now refer to her. Um, <laughs> on her stance of being basically an anti-vaxxer and I personally found that very difficult because there are children out there who and adults out there who because of um, a suppressed or damaged immune system can't have vaccinations themselves so they rely very much on what's termed herd immunity where everybody else around them that they're going to come into contact with be that children at school, teachers at school, other members of their family people that they're standing in a queue with at a supermarket they rely on all of those people being vaccinated so that they're not carrying a disease which particularly with their immune suppressed system could kill them not to put too fine a point on things um, so I found it very short-sighted of her to just make a blanket statement. I'm not going to have them. I'm not going to have my children immunised. She has her cats vaccinated, but she's not going to have her child vaccinated. That that 
I found that very, very difficult to deal with. And I got a comment from someone. Um, I think actually it's someone that I am no longer a friend with because it was phrased very much in the way they speak. Um, and uh, the person had the same first name. But uh, anyway, this person comment was uh, given your size you're hardly in a position to preach about somebody else's health okay last time I checked being fat does not make the person next to me become fat being fat does not infect somebody else with fatness there's a very big difference very big difference between me being fat and me not being immunised and potentially passing on a deadly disease to somebody else. Being fat is only really deadly to me unless I sit on you. In which case, then you're going to have a problem. Um, I was actually out and about when this comment came in. So I hadn't actually seen it. When I logged in, I'm like, okay, here we go. Let's see what comments I've got. A lot of my subscribers had actually already gone on and defended me. To this person which I can't tell you how that touched me that that people were that, that people that didn't even know me were defending my stance and that that means so much to me and it just it reinforced the fact that I'm gonna do my absolute best for you with this channel you're gonna see the best I can do with whatever I've got um, so yeah I mean it very much depends on the comment if the comment is particularly racist or homophobic or xenophobic or misogynistic then I probably would delete it because I've got friends of all colours. Some are as pale as me, some are paler than me. Strange as that may seem, there are people paler than me. Um, and, you know, I've, all the way through the spectrum of all of the, the mediums, the tans, the medium deeps, the deep darks, I've, I've got friends of all colours. I don't give a monkeys what colour their skin is because underneath their skin they're still a human being. Uh, I've got friends who are gay, lesbian, transgender. Does that worry me? No. Because their sexual orientation doesn't bother me. If they're happy and they're in relationships with someone who is old enough to make a decision that they want to be in a relationship with that person they're not hurting me by doing that if you're a nice person I will like you if you're not a nice person then I won't like you I don't care whether you're English, Welsh, Scottish, Dutch Polish, Australian, African, American, Canadian I don't care if you're nice to me, I'm nice to you. If you're not nice to me, well, don't expect any of my time. So any comment that I would find hurtful towards friends of mine, I would remove. If you're just having a go at me, hell, I've put myself on the internet. I've got to expect some people are not going to like me. And... Generally, when people try and pull you down, it's because they're a lot lower than you are to start with. So, I just think that these people that troll, just, they need a hug. They clearly haven't been hugged enough. If their only way they can feel happy is to make someone else unhappy, that, that says more about them than it does me. And her final question, this is turning into a longer video considering there's only four questions. But you know how I can talk. The final question is, tell us how you feel about your channel currently. Are you happy? Are you not? I love my little channel. Would I like it to be larger and have a 
bigger reach. Yeah, eventually I would like that. Not because it then puts me at the possibility of PR or brand notification, you know, brand recognition and trips and all that sort of thing. I'd like it to grow so that it helps more people. I've had a lot of people say to me that watching my tutorials has helped them expand what they're doing with their makeup. It's, they're trying different colours, they're trying different techniques, they're, you know, if, if they're only ever worn neutral before, they're now trying colours, um, you know, it's giving them more confidence with their ability with makeup regardless of their age, regardless of their sex, because I've got male followers as well. Um, and I think it's absolutely fantastic that watching something that I enjoy doing is helping someone else. So yes, I'd love my channel to get bigger, because then it could be helping more people. Am I happy with it as it is right now? Yes, I didn't... I set my target for Christmas this year of... 100 subscribers. It's the 1st of October and I've got 300 which just completely blows my mind. Um, so yeah, I am very happy with my channel as it stands right now. I've got a nice mix of foundation reviews, tutorials, palette reviews, um, things like this tag video, little mini tutorials just on wing liner or doing your eyebrows. Um, and then my hell yeah well knows, which is your chance to sit down, put your feet up, grab a drink, grab a snack, and just chill out for an hour or so, watching me discuss new makeup releases, and I sometimes have a bit of a rant during them, which most people find amusing, thankfully. Uh, but, you know, there's something on my channel for pretty much everyone. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with my channel. Um, and I hope you're happy with my channel. Right, that's it. That's that's the tag done. Um, as I said, I'm very late to doing this tag because I felt like I needed to be a larger channel before I could um, properly answer the questions. So I'm not going to tag anybody because, to be honest, they've probably already done this tag. But if you're watching this and you haven't done the tag, it'd be awesome if you joined in. I will put the comments all the questions in the description box um, and if you haven't got a YouTube channel but you've got Instagram put a picture up on Instagram and answer the questions there for me and tag me or just put your answers in the comments below as to how you feel so I hope you found this fun uh, if you did it'd be great if you could hit that like button comment share subscribe when you subscribe don't forget to ring my bell ring my bell and choose all notifications so that you get told every time i upload another one of these videos i'm talking of another one of these videos i've got a lot to choose from now why not pop over and have a look at another one okay all that remains for me to say as ever is your stay fabulous now and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.